This sucks. So Mache is going to describe these fragrances in three words. What kind of impression do mm -hmm. these give? Are they like uh, presumably sexiest fragrances? So, yeah, they're yeah. very popular, like overall sexy, marketed as sexy fragrances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It is good. <laughs> That's my <laughs> limit of words, so I can't say anything else. It is good. But, but nothing more. That's okay. Why sell deep or the toilet? Mm -hmm. This one is not your fave. Consistently, it's not your fave. It's nice, but... Yeah, I think I'm becoming more gracious uh, when I'm describing fragrances because it's... This is a good fragrance, but it's just not my, like, fave. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's okay, it's good, yeah. you know. But it's described often as sexy, which, like, you, uh -huh. really, you totally I'm not get, get I'm it. not getting that from yeah. this fragrance. No. Well, every day. Mm -hmm. so. But what uh, you mentioned that other YSLs. Uh, yeah, leave. you like the intense version, mm -hmm. though. They're, they're better ones, yeah. yeah. Likeable, lovely, feminine. Okay. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, this is Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette by Dior. This I've is... got coffee here, by the way. I'm sm yeah. sniffing this and you're like, what a weirdo. <laughs> but yeah, this is a coffee just to... Yeah, but don't smell too much because then you'll, you'll smell coffee and everything. Uh -huh. This is a very sexy, vampy fragrance, I would say. Cool. Oh, sexy, attractive girl. <laughs> There Woman. we go. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. This is Black Opium, the extreme version. Mm, very, very Perhaps good. Perhaps one of my favorites. Really mm, nice and deep. Yeah, I like it. Mm. I love this. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> Two words. I just switched to Polish. <laughs> to me. <laughs> I know it's for Can't you smell? <laughs> very, very nice. Beautiful. Okay. This beautiful fragrance. I wasn't so excited about it like two, two years ago or something. It is amazing. Yeah. It is quite different on the designer market for, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just clean, but somehow coconutty and dark. Oh, this is the good. Eau de Toilette. I do love the Eau de Toilette. I think it's got a nice lightness to it mm -hmm. because you always ask which, which Versace? Versace. Uh, sophisticated when I'm saying, no, I have to stick to three words. Intense, sophisticated, grown up. Okay. Yeah. This is Dior Addict, Eau de Parfum, the blue bottle. And I bashed this fragrance in another video. Mm -hmm, you did. So Am I see, changing? I Am I getting old? You might I totally be bashed this one, yeah. I remember. But no, I, this is this is really good fragrance. Come on, dude. I'm talking to myself now. <laughs> yeah, but I think your your taste from the beginning, mm -hmm. like when we started, it does change because you didn't used to like like uh, sweeter fragrances, mm -hmm. only like florals. But now you appreciate more like deep. This is a very white flower based fragrance, but very intense. And I would say this is like a more challenging designer perfume. It's not like you would usually gravitate toward like Joy by Dior, if you guys know, or I know this Guerlain. one. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, so you really enjoy those sort of fragrances, which are quite accessible, like everybody loves them, but mm -hmm. this is a bit more, a bit more nuanced. Maybe you're mm -hmm. starting to appreciate okay, it. Okay, yeah. <sighs> this is it. That's what I'm talking about. Of course it is. The one, <laughs> the, one the, only, the only, BDK, BDK Gris, Gris Chanel. Chanel. Wow! <laughs> Woo! This is just the absolutely reaction. gorgeous. The best fragrance for a woman. At least he's oh, a I need a break. I just need to like sniff it for a while. Just sit here and judge this. I want to sing. I want to sing. I want to. I want to swim in this fragrance. Probably it would hurt because it's loads of alcohol. Ah, oh, it wouldn't hurt me. Oh, there's, it's not. There's no fragrance that's going to beat BDK Gris Chanel. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Especially that it's after. Yeah, this does my <laughs> vanilla ray from Lush. Many people absolutely love this one. <laughs> <laughs> but Especially after, not after Gris Chanel. Yeah. <laughs> but even though it's, uh, it doesn't impress me, no, no, that's not, no, not okay. my cup of tea. Not your cup of mm. tea at all, okay. It's interesting. Okay, interesting, I would say. Okay. Niche, interesting. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, sweet uh, it diamond. Niche? I would say it's niche. What's the price tag? Like, uh, what, it's like, I think, like designer under, kind? under 100 pounds. Oh, oh, excellent. But maybe if we've put the prices up. But I don't remember. Mm -hmm. They're like lower and niche prices. Oh, the, then it's a banger okay. for for the price. And mm -hmm. when I'm when I'm aware of the price now, 
Then yeah. if you're looking for more interesting... I need to check, actually, so I'm not like... They're oh, like, uh, on discounts, about 79, 80 mm, pounds. Okay, look, if you're looking for a little something a little bit more interesting, niche-leaning, but still, it's uh, then it's this is a no-brainer. Go mm -hmm. for it. Just really get nice. yourself this one. Excellent. Next, we've got this one. It's so feminine. Lovely. Hibiscus Mahajat from Maison Crivelli. Mm. Very intense. Oh, perfume. You're trying to beat BDK Grishanel. Come on. Can you stand a chance? Uh, no, this is totally different. Okay, three words. Not so sure. Okay, not your cup of tea. Why is it? Probably because it's after BDK Grishanel and that's why it's the bar is so high. Okay. I would I would be like, yeah, it's nice if that was to be before BDK. But it's not so like yeah, my, my three words could be, yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Not extraordinary. We have three more perfumes to go. Ooh. This I would say. Sexy. Vampy. Mm hmm. <laughs> What's the third word? Sexy, vampy. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is Initio's Atomic Rose. Would you so. say it's vampy? Yeah, I would say. Oh, okay. It's, it's like this rose, but very, a nice. very dark and mm. sensual rose. More like, like it. going out rose. Yeah, yeah. Not like. Beep, beep, beep. I like it very much. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Light, everyday, feminine. There we go. Yes. This is a C by Amani, the original version. To me, this is a very nice, just everyday sweet fragrance. Very nice DNA. I like it. It's just, that's how I put it, three words. It's um, Jimmy Choo, forever. I want you forever. This one is probably the most likable scent I have ever come across in terms of like everybody likes it, perfume snobs, not perfume mm. snobs. It's just like yeah, yeah. this mm. super easy It's very likable, yeah. Nice. Slightly gourmand. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Strong, potent, sexy. Mm. Still, this one is also sexy. I'm sticking with this one, yeah. It's... Baccarat Rouge, yeah, yeah, 540. It is so Next intense. Time. It mm. is very intense. Yeah. Very sweet. Yeah. Worn it in a while. Yeah. Very special fragrance. Next time. Last one. Mm. I came here for love. Do you know that song? <laughs> yeah. That is really good. I came here for love. I okay. came here for love. That's five words. <laughs> oh. This is Delina. Yep, Delina. Delina. Really, really nice. It's the not be it's not better than Gris Chanel. It's behind a little okay. bit. Nothing beats Gris Chanel, but mm -hmm. this is very, very good. Highly recommend this one. So the top, I would say, are the two. Gris Chanel, this one. And actually, you got a very strong impression for Atomic Rose as well. Atomic so Rose. overall, all niche. All niche for you. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Yes, yeah. I, would, I would say one, two... Atomic Rose was pretty close. And also, I really like Black Opium. Okay. Extreme. Yes. And? And the new version is also, like, you really like that one because we smelled it the other day. I admit, yes. I forgot I what it's called, like, Parfum. Le Parfum. Le Parfum. That one is Opium really Le Parfum. Yeah. Yes. I was editing the video yesterday, so. Yeah, so you know. And this one. Ka 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 Kayali. Kayali also. Sweet Diamond. Yes. So one design. And you liked Versace also. Versace. Yeah, yeah. I, I liked qu uh, quite a lot of them. Not, yeah. not many of them were bashed by mm. me today, but... Maybe the point I think what I'm seeing is that you do prefer something that is a bit different because many designer scents are just light sweet, like mm -hmm. just sweet and there is nothing special about them for you as like somebody who smells a lot of stuff. This gives you a bit more of uniqueness. Let us know what is your favorite perfume from all of these 15 and down in the comments below. I'll also link all of them for you and the best deals for them. I've got some discount codes in the description box below that you can access with like the little down arrow under the video. It's actually more now. It's not arrow. It just says more. Okay. Sorry, I'm <laughs> paying attention to details. Let's we'll see. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel, of course, if you enjoy perfumes and videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks Give so Maji a like oh, because he thanks. he did a good job. Thank you. See you later then. <laughs> Bye.